Wake up, dumbass! Guys, my Fitbit collection is getting too big. I have to hide it somewhere. But Taco, where could you possibly hide a bunch of files on your computer without anyone else having the slightest chance of finding them? Minecraft map art. Turns out you can use Minecraft maps to recreate images in Minecraft. <laughs> There's a few websites that do this automatically. Which means I can transfer all my feet pictures into Minecraft, including the legendary Schlatt Stompers photo never seen before, which I will reveal at the end of this video. <laughs> anyway, just placing all the feet images on a field would still means there's a chance of someone logging on and finding them so i have to build an automated vault where i can hide them in secret from everybody uh yeah so this is gonna be the entrance i should hold on you know what i'm gonna just mark this out wow look at that now we gotta somehow hollow this out set there wow look at that so this is gonna mark uh where the f like the entrance ends Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh, oh, oh I don't know, I don't know, jump on. Is this big enough for my bolt? Absolutely fucking not. I need more space. Click, setter. Alright, no, 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 hold on, hold on. This can also be patched up. This is no problem for Master Builder Taco E Girl. Look, grass and, uh. Alright. It's not a masterpiece, I'll admit that. But it looks okay. You wouldn't really bat an eye. The first thought you have won't be, ah, oh, that's a hidden base with feet pictures in it. It's just gonna be, ah, oh, that's a funny terrain generation thing. Moving on. Does that convince you? It sure does convince me. I convinced myself. Now, this is feet we're talking about. Feet pics. This is a very serious matter. So I don't want anyone coming in here without my approval. But also, I don't want this area to be griefable. I covered the entire area of netherite blocks. So now we got a huge vault of uh, netherite just inside a mountain. I could make this look nice, and I am going to do that. But first, door. I want a huge ass fucking door that will be practically invisible from the outside. So, if you don't know, there's this mod called Create Mod, which adds funky mechanical stuff to Minecraft, and I want to build a door that is opened with this. I want a door that will open when, when I click fucking W on this little thing, right? And I want it to like open like a fucking vault door. You know you know what I mean? Yeah, you do. You do know what I mean. So I need to figure out a system to, to do this. Okay, yeah, yeah, hold on. Uh, I think I figured out a way to do this. Basically, the sequence gear shift has this little program where it turns 90 degrees that way, then it waits 10 seconds, and then it turns 90 degrees that way, closing the door. So if I click this lever all oh, right i turned it off hold on <gasps> oh shit it broke some blocks but i don't care <laughs> it looks so stupid i mean it looks cool don't get, don't get me wrong right? it looks cool but the fucking speed at which it turns all right as for the inside i want the feet in like a gallery kind of thing uh as in kind of like a library where you have like these shelves if my blocks would appear that would be awesome, thank you. So we'd have these shelves like this, right? Where the photo would be on either side, right? And then you'd have them like every, I don't know, six blocks, I wanna say. It's so like that, right? And then I stopped commentating. So now I have eight hours of footage where I build the bunker, where I build the lightning system, where I build um, an elevator, and they're not, I don't say anything during those recordings. All right, gamers, it's time for the vault tour. So this is the entrance. It's pretty seamless. It opens when I press W on this little controller. Look at that. Isn't that sick? And then it closes after 10 seconds. Anyway, so before I show you the feet, I really want to show you the lighting system because it's pretty awesome. So first, though, you see how it's dark here? So I click the controller and I press D. Look at that. Look at that. And it's from the top too. That's not all, right? I look over here, and oh, it's, it's it's pretty light, right? Not yet. Look at this space. How fucking sick is that? I wasted hours of my life on this. <laughs> yeah, so this is the vault. This is all the pictures. <laughs> this is so stupid. <laughs> but I know what you're all here for. The Schlatt Stompers. And I have a special designated area for them. You have to take an elevator to get to them. So I go over here. Schlatt Stompers elevator. I click the controller and I press control. Isn't that ironic? This opens up. I can walk in here. It closes behind me. And I can look at Mr. Beast's little toes over there. 
<laughs> Why did I say that? Anyway, so I pre I'm gonna press this button and it's gonna take us to the underground section of the vault. Hold on. I have a special controller for that. It's the Schlant Footsies controller. Anyway, I press this button and we go down. This is the system that makes the door go down. Anyway, it's pretty dark in here, right? So you arrive and whoa what a dead end wrong well you won't get anywhere without this controller because when i press this controller and i press w watch what happens how fucking sick is that so i walk over here you can turn around and you can watch them close so i press s and they close down behind you how cool is that? It's it's pretty sick. It, it is it is really cool. Yeah, no one will get you here. You're basically this is basically a nuclear bunker, but for feet pictures. So I forgot to have a button. I was supposed to have a button here, but whatever. Are you ready for this? So I go into here, and this button will reveal the Schlatt stompers. Are you guys ready? Hold on, let me let me get rid of all of this nonsense. Is ready? Holy shit. Okay, I'm ready, guys. I'm ready. 